Hello, today we are going to talk about SDN based IP RAN solution using L3 VPN as a service. On a traditional IP RAN network, a large number of access devices are deployed at the access layer. In the current network build out and operating modes, decentralized access routing devices need to be managed node by node, which is very time consuming and requires manual intervention causing it to drastically increase the operation and maintenance cost. To help customers address those challenges, Huawei creatively proposed the STN-based mobile backhaul solution which has a centralized control plane as a basic idea. This solution requires only one control center to control all network behaviors in this solution, topology summarization and path computation are all complete on the control plane and the access routing devices are required to provide the access function only. Therefore, this solution simplifies access routing devices, thereby all devices at the access layer are managed like one device. And I'm going to show you just that, how you could create an application with the ONOS playing the operating system role on a controller and programming the network elements and to provide end-to-end -end service. There are various agents of Huawei which are plugins to the ONOS which are developed by Huawei which will plug into the ONOS and which could manage Huawei specific resources. Similarly, Owners provide northbound interface, which is again a standard model, and uh, Huawei provides an agent which plugs into the owners so it could talk to the applications. We will use L3VPN as a service and demonstrate how we could deploy this service on the network. So, in order to do that, we will create a simple network and we'll connect few CE devices or access devices and create service on top of that. So first, let's log into the Onos device, which is a controller. So this controller is running the Onos software and initially there is, there is no network which got created. So when you perform the summary and the topology and the devices, we don't see any of those available yet. So all the links, all the devices returns empty. So let's first create the network. In this case, we will create a simple network of PA routers which are interconnected. We will use network emulator to create these PA devices. In order to do that, we need to instantiate these PA devices and once we instantiate, these devices will boot up and instantiate the services on top of that. So once all the network devices are up, we are going to enable the client service. So this client service will enable it to register with the owner's controller. And the owner's controller in turn could query the information of the network and how they are connected by querying the IGP protocol processor for the topology. This topology information is stored in the controller which could be used by the application. So let's go back to the owner's controller. So now when we perform the summary of the devices or the links, we see that there are various devices being discovered by the owner's controller. And when we show the topology, we see that 
there are multiple devices and the topology existing on the controller and when we show the devices we see that there are many devices which are available to be used by the controller now let's move on to the l3 vpn application so this application is used to create the l3 service on the network which was discovered so when we initialize the topology it queries the controller for the topology information not only that it also instantiate the flow, flow rules using the flow rule extension on the controller through the flow, flow rule api so once these flows are established on the network the network is ready to be used now let's create vpn service we will create today two vpn services so for that we require ce devices so we create vpn service from ce to ce so let's create vpn2 between shanghai and chengdu so we add a ce device which is off of shanghai pe device and another ce device which is off of chengdu we name them ce3 and ce4 the network address and the ip address are configured now when we say show vpn we automatically see that the vpn service getting created and the ces are connected through that vpn service similarly let us create another vpn service this time we will use 3 ce devices these 3 ce devices are attached to xian beijing and shanghai so because there is already a ce device which is off of shanghai we will use the same ce device which is ce3 so ce1 is connected to xian ce2 is connected to beijing so let's configure all the ip addresses and the network addresses on these ce devices and once we configure all those ip address and network addresses we should be able to click show all vpn now it should displays all the vpns which were created and all the ce devices which are using those vpn services so we have vpn2 and vpn3 so we need to verify whether the connectivity exists between the ce devices along the vpn so this ensures that vpn is established not only that it also connects the ce devices as we said once we establish this vpn services automatically the flow rules are established and configured on the pe devices so when we perform ping from ce4 to ce5 we see the response now let's perform ping from ce3 to ce1 and ce3 to ce2 because ce3 is participating two vpns still we should be able to perform the ping and should be able to receive the response from ce1 and ce2 so when we perform from ce3 to ce1 we receive response similarly we also receive response from ce3 to ce2 so this verifies that vpn service is up and running now let's verify what happens when the failure occurs in the network fix without causing any problem or requiring any configuration so let's go to pe router which is xiam pe router and shut down one link
and verify that link is down. Now, once that link is down, the network should automatically be configured to redirect the traffic from Xi'an to Shanghai or Xi'an to Beijing on a different path, which means one of the VPNs will have a redirection of the traffic. So as you can see in the topology, we see that one link is down. Now, once the link is down, automatically the new flow rules are configured and the VPN is up and running without any interruption. So when you perform ping from CE3 to CE1, we see the response. Similarly, when we perf perform ping from CE2 to C3 to C2, we see the response as well. Thank you.